Hello and welcome back to Absurd Land. This video showcasing astonishing and heartbreaking historical photos and footage from the 1800s and 1900s. Hi there, my name is Adam and today I'm excited to present to you some astonishing and heartbreaking historical photos and footage with stories. Footage from 1899 showing two women feeding the locals during the French occupation of Vietnam. The two women in the video are shown feeding the children as if they were pigeons, a poignant depiction of the desperate conditions faced by the local population during the French occupation of Vietnam. The footage is a valuable historical document that showcases the negative effects of colonialism and the resilience of the Vietnamese people during the French occupation. Now, let's explore the real, erased, dark side of history through astonishing and heartbreaking archive photos with stories. Nine-year-old Eunice Winstead Johns and her husband, 22-year-old Charlie Johns, Sneesville, Tennessee, United States, 1937. Different legal and cultural norms at that time made it possible for marriages with significant age gaps to occur. Yoder Chemi, a young Polish man who survived a concentration camp, is ready for his execution after being convicted of murdering a German family. The family had found him wandering on a snowy night, fed him, and gave him a bed. Jimmy killed them as they slept. Landsberg Prison, 1947. A black U.S. soldier reads a message left by the Viet Cong during the Vietnam War. The message reads, U.S. Negro Army Men, you are committing the same anonymous crimes in South Vietnam that the KKK clique is perpetrating against your family at home, 1970. Contestants in the Miss Lovely Eyes beauty pageant in Florida, wearing masks to obscure the rest of their faces so that their lovely eyes can be educated, 1930s. The Thing AKA the Great Seal Bug. On 4th August 1945, a group of Soviet schoolchildren presented to W. Averell Harriman, the U.S. Ambassador to the USSR, with a carved U.S. seal as a gesture of friendship. It hung in his office for seven years before discovering a contained listening device. Mugshot of Bertha Baranda. The woman who was arrested for cutting off her husband's penis with a razor in 1907. Chinese American war worker in Los Angeles wore a handwritten sign in his back to avoid being mistaken for Japanese in 1942. women with tattoos characteristic for Croatian Catholics in Bosnia. The tradition is called Sasanje, and it was originally used to protect against the Ottomans. Central Bosnia, 1930s through 1940s. Nightclub owner Jack L. Hickman marching around Times Square with a sign reading, The only good communist is a dead communist. New York City, United States, April 26, 1965. Two Frenchmen restrain a woman while another cuts her hair after she's been accused of collaborating with the Germans during the occupation, 1945. A Red Army soldier firing from a bathtub during the Battle of Stalingrad, 1942. Barricades on Rue Saint Mar, Paris, 25th June, 1848. The image captures the barricades constructed by revolutionary Parisian citizens in the streets during the period of political unrest. This 1870 image is considered the first actual photograph taken of a battle. Taken during the Franco Prussian War, it shows the line of Prussian troops advancing. 
the photographer stood with the French defenders when he captured this image. Relatives of the people that died during the Ardettini Massacre pray at the Ardettini cave site. The Ardettini Massacre was a mass killing of 335 civilians and political prisoners carried out in Rome on 24th March 1944 by Nazi German occupation forces. Rome, Italy, 1944. Ruth Lee, a hostess at a Chinese restaurant, flies a Chinese flag so she isn't mistaken for Japanese on her days off in Miami in the wake of the attack on Pearl Harbor, December 15, 1941. The so-called good Nazi, Albert Speer with Adolf Hitler at Berghoff, successfully deceiving the court about his involvement and knowledge of atrocities committed by the Reich. He would only serve 20 years in prison. Arthur of the best selling Inside the Third Reich he died wealthy. Zen monks in Asakusa Temple in Tokyo perform air raid drills with gas masks in 1936. A French woman pours cider for a British Bren Gunner. Lucio, France, 22 August 1944. Soldiers who were interrupted during rehearsals for a drag show by an air raid manning anti-aircraft guns at the Royal Artillery Coast Defense Battery at Shoremean Ford, Kent, England, 1940. Australian soldiers from the 61st Battalion, Queensland Cameron Highlanders, advanced along the Masagata River in Bougainville Island in March 1945 during the campaign against the Japanese. HMS Cleopatra throws out smoke to show the convoy as HMS Euryalis elevates her forward 5.25 inch guns to shell the Italian fleet. Second Battle of Sert, 22 March 1942. A German child meets his father, a World War II soldier, for the first time, 1956. An old Italian woman shows her gratitude to one of the American soldiers following the liberation of Italy, 1945. Captain Nieves Fernandez, a Filipino resistance leader and school teacher in the Philippines, showing to a U.S. soldier how she used her bolo to silently eliminate Imperial Japanese soldiers during the nearly three years of occupation of the Philippines, October 1944 through March 1945. Two girls more engrossed with the air vent crate than the modern art on the walls of the San Francisco Museum of Art, 1963. One of America's youngest newsboys, four years old, and regular seller, Tampa, Florida. A blind Muslim man named Muhammad carrying his best friend and paralyzed Christian who suffers from dwarfism named Samir, Damascus, Ottoman, Syria, 1889. Two German soldiers in 1916. Anita Bryant, Save Our Children leader, gets pied by a gay rights activist, Des Moines, Iowa, 14th October 1977. The booking photos of German communist and street fighter Albert Halle, taken after his arrest for killing Nazi party member Horst Wessel. The killing of Horst Wessel is notable since the Nazis turned him into a martyr for their cause, Weimar Republic, 1930. 
Chani Wenjak, a young indigenous boy who died at the age of 12 while trying to escape from a Canadian residential school and go home. Circa 1960s. Melted and damaged mannequins after a fire at Madame Trussard's Wax Museum in London, 1925. Egyptian men watched as the Graf Zeppelin floats over the Great Pyramids of Giza, Egypt, while atop the Great Pyramid of Khufu, 1931. Union boss Jimmy Hoffa flipping off attorney Robert Kennedy during a Senate committee hearing in 1957. A Chinese man stands alone, bottom left, to block tanks heading east on Beijing's Chang'an Boulevard in Tiananmen Square on June 5, 1989. He is calling for an end to the violence and bloodshed against pro-democracy demonstrators. It's pulled away by bystanders, and the tanks continued on their way. In this small town, Zistra, after the fights, I did not find anyone alive except for this wounded cat. Eastern Front, 1943. The Antarctic snow cruiser on the drive towards the ship that would take it south to the pole. The vehicle provided living space and laboratories to five scientists. Unfortunately, it was found to have no traction on snow, unless driven in reverse, and was eventually abandoned, 1939. Joe Biden taking oath as the youngest senator in 1972 from Delaware at the age of 30, January 1973. On March 18th in 1965, Russian cosmonaut Alexei Leonov steps from the spacecraft Voskhod 2 to become the first man to walk in outer space. He was outside the spacecraft for 12 minutes and 9 seconds. Outer Space, 1965. Austro-Hungarian tail gunner armed with 10 Mosser C-96 handguns. World War I. An escaped slave named Peter showing his guard back at a medical examination in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 1863. Adelaide Springett, in all of her best clothes. It's said that she was so ashamed at the state of her boots, she took them off for photographs. London, 1901. 1971, a little boy running away from injection, terrified of being vaccinated against cholera at a refugee camp outside Calcutta, India. Leftist revolutionary woman cleaning her gun. Tehran, Iran, 1979. Shepherds listening to music records. Azerbaijan, 1939. Benjamin Ferenc was the last surviving prosecutor from the subsequent Nuremberg trials. In 1947, he became the chief prosecutor in what was called the biggest murder trial in history. He spent his entire life fighting for justice for the victims of war crimes. And he died this week. Boiler explosion of C&O T1 number 3020 on May 1948. A group of elderly men sitting on a mat, taken in Peshawar, now Pakistan, circa 1865. Two of the men are looking at each other with contempt, 
suggesting that they may actually be enemies who have been persuaded to be photographed together as an example of native thugs. A photo of Abduwali, an Afghan farmer. In 2003, he was falsely accused of being a terrorist. Hoping to clear his name, he turned himself into the Americans. A CIA contractor would brutally torture Wally to death over the course of three days, beating him until he begged for death. Let's end on a heartwarming note with this photo that brightens the somberness of the previous photos. Father and son goofing off. 1910s. A reminder of love and kindness in the world. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.